Okay, let's see this question being asked. Uh, this is a life application or word problem. Kitty likes to walk down moving escalators. So the escalator is moving down. And she takes one step at a time. So when she walks down at a rate of two steps per second, that's her speed. So the escalator has a speed because the escalator moving down has a speed. And her extra speed. So this is the extra speed. So her speed is two steps per second. So she reaches the bottom from the top after 18 steps. Okay, so she takes 18 steps if she takes two steps per second. So that's a nine second, right? Because 18 divided by two, that's nine seconds. So when she is exhausted, she will walk down at a rate of one step per second. So this is another scenario. So one scenario, if she walks two steps per second, she would need to walk 18 steps. And this scenario is saying, if she walks one step per second, she would have reached the bottom from the top after 12 steps, right? So in this way, so 12 divided by one, so 12 steps and one step, right? That, that takes her 12 seconds. So what do we have to do? We, we need to find the time taken for her to reach the bottom from the top if she just stands on the escalator. What does this mean? This means there's no extra speed. So the only speed is the moving escalator. So what do we do? So we want to use these two scenarios to form an equation. And what is this equation? Think about it, from the top to the bottom, right? So the distance, so the escalator is moving, she's moving or not, but the distance from the top to bottom won't change. So we will make a, a equation in terms of distance, right? So what is the distance when she, in the first scenario, so I have marked with blue color, and the distance equals to the distance in this pink color. So we use this, right? So that will be, for the first scenario for the blue color, will be time multiplied by the rate, the speed. The speed is the speed of the escalator plus the speed of KD. The time is 18 divided by two, right, nine seconds and multiply the speed, which is just, if we call the speed of escalator V, it's so two plus V. So that would be the distance, right, for the blue color. For the pink color, for the purple color, right, it would be 12 divided by one, right, 12 seconds, that's the time, multiply by the speed. What's the speed? The speed is one step per second, which is one. So Kitty's speed is one step per second plus the speed of the escalator. Well, the speed of the escalator won't change. So we still call V. So that's the distance from the purple color and the distance of the purple color equals to the distance of the blue color. So we'll make an equation like that. So we call the speed of the escalator V, all right? So 12 divided by not two, that's nine. That's the time, nine seconds. You know, for Kitty reach from the top to the bottom. And multiply by the speed. Well, her speed is two steps per second, and the escalator speed is v. So time times speed, that's distance. On the other hand, so the times 12 divided by one, which takes her 12 seconds for, you know, take one step at one second. And the speed is one step per second plus the speed of the escalator. Now, then we just solve this linear equation. Okay, that's easy. Nine times two, 18. Nine times V, nine V. 12 times one, 12. 12 times V, 12 V. Then we combine like terms. So we move around. Then we move 12 from the right-hand side to the left, become negative. Or we subtract 12 from both sides. 18 subtract 12, we get six. Then we subtract 9v from both sides, 12v minus 9v, that's 3v. Then we divide by 3. 
So V equals two. So the speed of the escalator is two steps per second. Then the distance, we can use either one because the left-hand side is distance, the right-hand side is distance. So, so let's just use the right-hand side. So distance would be 18 plus nine times two. Nine times two is 18. 18 plus 18, that's 36. So the distance from the top to bottom is 36. Now we know the escalator speed of escalator is two. So if Katie just stand on top of the of the you know escalator, won't won't you know won't, won't do anything. So so that's thirty six divided by two, which is eighteen. Which is for the escalator itself, you know, taking Katie from the top to the bottom, it would take her, uh, eighteen seconds. So that's that's this question being asked. I think it's a very nice question. And keep asking me questions. And it's fun for me. Thank you for asking. <laughs>